Welcome back to News 360. It's now time for Mission, which is supported by Star Ghana with funding from Danida, the UK Aid and the European Union. And it seems TV3 has gotten more results. Residents of Kulung are excited. The days of drudgery and struggle for water are over. At a mission's report on poor sources of water used by residents, the community's borehole project started by residents has been completed. Bright Nana Amfo reports the community is grateful to TV3. This is what residents of Kulung here in the Upper West region rely on. This is Yuli source and at this time of the year when it is dried up, there is indeed a huge problem for them. Women, children and everyone in the community relies on this kind of water from this stagnant pool. It starts from right behind me and trips here and it gathers. I'm told that it takes hours for it to gather to the level that it can be scooped into their receptacles or containers. Residents of Kulung are really distressed. Water is a prized commodity, a challenge they are battling to deal with. This was a great difficulty. They are trying to find portable water. We don't have money to buy the hairs and then the, uh, the pipes. So the contractor told us we, that we should find 30 million. So we want to contact the DC. And the DC too, he said that he will come, he will come. We follow him uh, up to date. So we went to the uh, Fusi assembly man. We contacted him that he should send us to MP at Accra. MP said he have called the DC and, and give him to go ahead. So he call, called the DC and the DC to say that he's going to Tamale. That after he returned, that he will come. So they continued to drink the unwholesome water. Mission's visit saw the women excited. <laughs> They were happy because the mission team had promised to partner them in the push for clean water. The advocacy started in January 2017. The district chief executive and member of parliament for Wa East were contacted. They promised to provide water for Kulung. 3,000 cities was needed to fix the system. And this was provided by the member of parliament and the district chief executive. In fact, the two released more than needed. The borehole is now pumping water to Kulung. Residents can now access potable water. The excitement is greater. The days of drudgery are over and they can fetch clean water. Kids no longer drank unwholesome water and the people are happy. The Kulung chief and elders wish to thank you, the media, for being helping us. In fact, you came here for the first time and we were suffering of water. It's because of you that we are being getting this support. The people of Kulung wish to thank you and you should still continue that you shouldn't forget of this. We still need more borehole in the community. This one is not enough. The district assembled to help us with some amount for the uh, insulation of the pump. By then, the MP have already given us the money, so that money too is still lying down. And they say we have to write application for what we want to use the money before we can now use it. They are planning what to do with the funds they have secured. The district assembly says it is committed to improving access to water and other social amenities in the district. After we fix the head pump, we didn't just allow them to use the water, we will still uh, pick sample of the water and then we tested the water quality to see how uh, good the water is. But all the tests prove that the water is wholesome for consumption. So we then gave it to the community to use. For Kulung, this is a dream come true. Though they would have wanted a mechanized system, this is okay for the meantime. The mission team promised to continue the advocacy to speed up development in Kulung. Kulung is grateful to TV3 and the mission team. Bright Nananfo, 
TV3. Well, let's still stay in Cologne where the residents uh, had a town hall meeting and where the mission team uh, have raised other development challenges which needs immediate attention. Now, the community is surrounded by two rivers and this impacts negatively on the education and health during the raining seasons. Kids are unable to go to school when the two rivers are full up while patients are unable to attend clinics during the period. Brighton now for has more. Residents are eager to meet the mission team. An earlier advocacy for water had achieved results, and so expectations are high. Kulung is deprived and neglected. Residents have used several ways to get development. Even a threat not to perform their civic responsibility did not move the politician to come to the aid of Kulung. The politicians snubbed them in 2016 and they remained in their poor state. The community is surrounded by two rivers, the Kulung River on one side and another river on the other. This is a headache. There's only one kindergarten in Kulung. Children trek 30 minutes to Yala to attend primary school when they complete kindergarten. This stream gets filled up during the month of May, June and July. And so for three months, kids will stay at home. Residents at the gathering raise concerns Hello. on providing a school for the community. The health uh, of the people yeah, is also affected any time the river is like full. They, they All the people from the other community were cut off. Then the people in Kulung too were also cut off in between. So they are not able to go back to Holomoni side and they can't also go forward to Yala to access health self, I mean health services. So with the issue of the pregnant women, when women are in labor, it becomes so serious. We are not able to really give them the services we want to give. Sometimes we try to even see if we can go to the communities ourselves to help, but the situation when the water is beyond our limits, we are not able to cross. So These concerns were discussed with the mission team, focal persons from the assembly and some health workers, and recommendations were made to form committees to pursue these. The women were not left out. They had issues too. She represents the women. Their first problem is grand mill. They have no grand mill to grand flour. And then uh, this year, they also have a challenge with their, the cyanide. Well, the cyanide they, they use to make the local oil. They have problem with that particular, uh, let me say, trees this year. Uh, this year, they are saying that they will not get much harvest from that particular uh, tree. So if government, government should try and come and help them by providing them, let's say, uh, fertilizer, what, uh, and the machines to plow their farms. If not, they have no any other help done. Their plea is for help. The mission team promised closer collaboration in future. We're very happy about the results we've seen. And we would like all of them to know that this whole thing was made possible. Ketsi Star Ghana. We want them to know that we will keep coming. We will keep coming and keep reporting on various aspects, on various issues that they've raised. So we help them together solve those challenges. Kulin's promise is to continue the advocacy themselves when the mission team is away. Residents are happy they have been recognized. Bright Nananfo, TV3. Well, that's it for Mission for this evening. It is supported by Star Ghana with funding from Danida, the UK Aid and the European Union. Isa is standing by with more stories.